Hello Eurovision fans, thank you so much for coming to my channel Eurovision Histories. Again, I am trying to fight post Eurovision depression a little bit longer. So I have another top five, this time the best vocals of Eurovision 2023. And let's get right to it. I have a few honorable mentions because I could not decide only five. So I have a few more. My first honorable mention would be Lithuania, Monika Linkaite. I love the song and I think the main asset of the whole performance is her voice. She was always on point during the entire pre-parties and also at Eurovision. You notice in the final that she had some audio issues. She kind of tapped her ear a few times. She still delivered an amazing performance, really well done, perfect vocally. She also has a very nice tone to her voice. So I really liked that performance. Then I also have Belgium. He had a few off moments during the final when he walks down this platform, especially, I think. But great, great vocals. Um, he's a backing, he has been a backing singer in other Eurovision. So he kind of got the experience there, I think, and delivered on the night as well. Lots of fun, lots of energy and engagement. Really well done. Let's get to the top five. My fifth position would be Switzerland. Well You know that I hate the lyrics of the song very, very much. I do like the composition. And again, the biggest asset in this entry is his amazing voice, which kind of doesn't fit his, he said it himself, his baby face. And then this very deep voice comes out of him. Um, he was pitch perfect every single one through every single rehearsal on the night as well. I was a bit surprised that he didn't get even more votes from the juries because of this voice. Maybe he was hurt by the lyrics a bit. And this is very much um, an artist that I want to return to Eurovision with a better song because when it comes to the vocal performance, he could be a potential jury winner with a better song, I think. And I just love the tone of his voice as well. Lots of drama, lots of... Yeah, the deepness in it, I really, really like that very, very much. In fourth position, I have Mimikat and Portugal. I could have sung, I could have sung, these moolas, yes, man. There was a lot of moving going on in the performance, but she delivered a very impressive vocal performance time and time again throughout the rehearsals again. She also has a very interesting tone to her voice where it's joyful and tongue in cheek, but also melancholic at the same time. That might also be the Portuguese language, but I do love her voice. I have been going into her discography a little bit. She has lots of interesting songs, most of them in English, kind of unfortunately for me, because I love songs in national languages. But every time a song comes up by her, um, I kind of notice the voice. And the, I also did during the grand final and her performance. Now in third place, I have Spain. <laughs> This was the hardest song to sing, I think, in the entire Eurovision Song Contest this year. This Bularia singing style, the flamenco, there were notes in that song that are incredible and very hard to hit, and she did it 100% every single time. So some of you might ask, why isn't she number one? Well, I do like when a voice cracks a little bit, when there's a bit of uncertainty in the voice which adds to the emotion for me and so in a way it was almost too perfect and also the singing style isn't my cup of tea however third out of 37 songs means it was the third best vocal performance in my opinion in second place and this is exactly what i'm talking about i have italy He was really good vocally, but what I really love about the performance is the incredible emotion that he puts into it. You really hear the suffering and the fragility and everything that the song projects in his voice. Incredible emotions. I had 
incredible goosebumps during this performance and that was mainly because of his voice not so much the staging or the song itself but he just knows how to emote and how to elevate a song to a new level i think and he did that really really well i think he had some audio issues you can see him tap his ear during the performance as well but i think actually that helped him be even more emotional and even more dramatic and yeah it's just a wonderful performance in first place i have estonia I'm still not a big fan of the song. I wasn't a big fan of the staging, but I can't not recognize that this was a incredible vocal performance. She was on point every single time. The raspiness she added in some aspects helped it a lot. The emotion was there as well. So I can't do anything else but give her first place in this top five because Alika is just an amazing, amazing singer. I do kind of hope that she comes back with a better song as well. These are my top five best vocals of Eurovision 2023. Let me know in the comments what your top five would be, where you agree and disagree with me. And there will be more top fives coming. So subscribe to this channel and come back for my next video if you want to. See you and bye bye.